Hey, what's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. So I had no intentions of shooting a video today, but I happened to be walking through my yard after a run and I noticed an earth ball fungus, which is inedible by the way. But a lot of times people get the earth ball fungus and the puffer ball fungus confused. So today I'm going to clear that up. I'm going to show you how to identify the earth ball fungus so you don't confuse it with the puffer ball fungus. Okay guys, so how do you tell the difference between an earth ball and a puffer ball, okay? This happens to be the earth ball. The first identifying factor is gonna have a rough textured skin. And when you squeeze on it, it's gonna be very firm. It's not gonna give, okay? But when you do squeeze it, it should split. Now, I will say this, a puffer ball, when you squeeze it, it's gonna feel, rather than firm, it's gonna feel like a marshmallow. All right, so let's give this a squeeze, and it should crack somewhere on here. Oh, there it goes. All right, now, moving on to the inside, you'll notice that inside here, let's see if you can see. Now, those are not gills. That's filled with trillions of microscopic spores. And you notice the color, it's more, it's like a grayish, uh, almost a purplish color, okay? Now, if you were to cut into a puff ball, then it would be all white. Okay, guys, so remember, this is the earth ball fungus. Unedible, and will have a firm skin and a rough skin and will be a purplish gray or maybe sometimes even a brownish on the inside. Unedible. A puff ball or a puffer ball is going to be squeezable and feel like a marshmallow and will be white on the inside. So there you have it guys, the earth ball. Check it out. Don't eat it. Do it.